Whakanuia a Chelsea Winstanley. No mai, hara mai ki tēnei pō whakangāhau, tēnei mihi ki a koutou katoa. Uh, te wao matariki, he hata kaupapa o te matariki. Kei te whakanui i a mātou, kei te maumahara nā mate, pirangau kei te uh, kōrero ki ngā rua nā whetu, nā whetu pohutakawa, Nā whetu a hiwa i te rangi. Ko wai au, nā uri o nā te rangi nui, me nai te rangi, anō tauranga moa nā hau. Kia ora, ko mau au te maunga, ko piri rākau te hapu, ko paparoa, ko zu te reinga te marae. Um... I am so honoured to be here tonight because obviously in amongst all you beautiful fetu, ki ronga, ki raro, uh, also with this amazing group of women and of course for the cuz, Ria, the call comes and you come to do whatever the call cuz says, you come. So here we are. Um, but I wanted to acknowledge uh, Pohutukawa and Hiwi Tirangi tonight because I've literally come from a tangi. I am in my tangi gears. This is me at a tangi, Bano. Um, and I want to acknowledge Pahutakawa because we just lost a very beautiful cousin, um, only 38 years old. And I want to acknowledge her for two reasons, and it fits in with the whole uh, theme of Matariki and with Hiwa Itirangi because what I was reminded of at that beautiful tangi and man I love Māori because tangi hanga is such a beautiful occasion to celebrate and acknowledge one another and there's so much beauty in that process. Whaka knowing the tanga and and waiata and, and, and haka and beautiful kōrero and pūrāko, whether they're telling a stink story or a funny story, it's all encompassed and it's so beautiful. But what was beautiful about that and being amongst that tangi was she was a kayako and there were so many tamariki and rangatahi at that, at that tangi and they were there to mihi to her. And what I saw was there was a dream, and what Hiwa Itarangi is all about dreaming, there was a dream that her parents put in place in Tapuna and Tauranga Moana, and that was to give rangatahi kura kaupapa Māori and give them the reo o, o tātou tūpuna, the kai o te rangatira, and that is what so many of us have been missing throughout our lives, and what we're kind of on a journey at the moment. There are um, some beautiful wahine who I'm going to school with right now. I've just started my own journey at, at kura. Um, at Takiura and it's hard man but what I really wanted to mihi to my whanau and I'm so proud of them is they wanted to make that dream a reality for their beautiful children and it was just, it's just, it was just so lovely to witness and be a part of and I'm so proud of them and you know dreaming and storytelling is all about dreaming that's the whole reason why I got into it and in terms of not having that ill because I remember a story my, my kuya told me, which is the whole reason why I wanted to get into this. She said to me, when I was, I, I was like, Nan, I just, I want to be Māori so bad. I'm kitty tear ears and I look, I look so Pākehā and I'm my name, Chelsea Wynn Stanley. Uh, people don't know that I'm named after Chelsea Brown. She was an African-American lounge singer. Mum said so. And everyone's like, oh, you're so Pākehā. And I just wanted to be so Māori, everything inside of me. So my narco, I really felt it, was Māori. It was Māori. And she would say, eh, what do you want to learn that language for? Because she was a generation, and so many of us have, are, are from that, and the recipients of that, the generation that were hit, literally beaten for speaking te reo rangatira. And it was just it's something that just sat with me, and I just felt so much mamai for her. And I've always, I think I kind of just planted that in my heart, and it was something that I wanted to nurture in my life and as a storyteller. So I always think about her, and I think about many of my matriarchs, those that were in that showreel just before, and that's not an exhaustive list of what I've done, but um, it shows some of my work in those and, and, and people that I love. And, and so what she did and instilled in me was kind of like a bit of a fight, but also a dream to, 
to have that and, and bring that back in some way in everything I do and every, every story that I've wanted to tell. And so another dream that we had um, back in 2016, Tweety Waititi and I wanted to, we just wanted our babies to have spaces to go to, like this, Pākehā spaces or pa spaces in public, big spaces, theatres, to hear their own language. So in 2016, we had a dream to reversion Moana. And I found myself on a plane, took my babies, packed up my life here, in this executive boardroom in Disney with all these <laughs> out of it Pākehā people with really high jobs and stuff and going, please give us Moana so we can turn it into the Māori and just trying to convince them and they're like, oh, cool, okay. Like sweet little natives, like, oh, that sounds cool. Didn't really know what we wanted to do or what that dream was, but you know, we went on and we made that and we turned it into something for our babies. And that's all we really wanted to do. And um, thank you. Um, but at the same time, doing that, my whole life turned upside down. And I went into a very, very dark place. And I found myself kind of juggling all this like amazing stuff. Meditors film was coming out and Moana. And then my life literally turned upside down. I went into a very, very dark place. And I had to dig deep. And what I realized is that what I had been doing throughout my life, I had realized that I was upgrading my abuse. And what I didn't understand was throughout my life, so long as it wasn't as bad as my childhood trauma, so long as it wasn't as bad as that childhood rape or that incident that I'd been through, it was okay, I was gonna get through it. But what I was doing, every choice that I made, I was actually just upgrading that abuse. And so four years ago, I decided to stop drinking alcohol because I knew that was just adding to the trauma and not allowing me to heal. And I really needed to dig within and I need to start loving myself and giving myself permission to actually become the woman that I wanted to be. And um, part of that really started my journey of healing. And the other thing I did was I came home because I think when you come home is when you really heal. And so I wanna share a clip with you because I came home to make a documentary about the exhibition that was happening at Auckland City Art Gallery called Toy to Toy Order. We don't need people to tell our stories for us, we just need to be given the platform to present what we think, what we know, to let our authority and agency be. And that's all this show is doing in a nutshell. It's quite simply allowing us to tell the story the way in which we see it and the way in which it makes sense to us, with us at the centre. Māori art is the only unique art practice to this country. Everything else has come to this country. But Māori art couldn't exist anywhere else. It can only exist here. 
So by that definition, it's the only unique art practice of this land. And being amongst all this beautiful mahi toy, it did, it gave me what I needed and what I needed to feel my, na feel my narco and feel my heart, what I needed to hear and be around and I needed that sustenance. I needed that to feed me. And it really has helped my journey of healing. And not only that, I, um, I decided to, as I mentioned before, last year I was like, right, I'm gonna go back to school and I'm going to try and reclaim my language. Not just for me, but it was really for my grandmother who had it beaten out of her. It was for my mother who never had the opportunity. And it was for my babies who now go to Akura. And I realized I need to support them at home. So it's now kind of come full circle, this whole moi moya, this whole dreaming. And I've also came home and started a, a whole new production company. And I, I want to also focus on indigenous women around the world. And so I also um, found myself uh, part of a beautiful Hawaiian film called Kapol. And I just want to share the trailer with you because that'll be coming out earlier uh, next o mai o this year. Ina ho'o lohi pono oi, lohi ya ka honi a ka leo kūpuna i kamakani. Ola lo oia, no ka lepo ka aina ka ko mihi pua la. You're beautiful. Why are you so fucking sad? Real things like you never last in this world. You either gotta get strong or you gotta find something or someone strong to protect you. No one could ever paint long distances. Because for all that you are. Fuck! Help me! Darkest spots. And so I expressed myself with pictures and I expressed myself with stories. And next week, uh, in time for Matariki, um, this is kind of full circle moi moya, and that we will be releasing Lion King i Māori. Maori. So please, everyone, go to the Whare Pikitia and support this film because we only, Disney and all those big companies will only take us seriously if they see that we are an audience. If they see us going and they see that real Māori actually exists and we have a voice here in this country, we can keep doing these films. So please, please go and support this film. And here's a little treat. Kia ora koutou, na mihi nui kia koutou.